Hi, welcome back everybody to Ryan's Weekly Barbecue. Today I got something a little special for you, more like an appetizer and a snack. My style of jalapeno poppers. What we're going to be doing today, obviously a jalapeno, some bacon, some cream cheese, shredded cheese, a little bit of seasonings going with those cream cheese. Let's get into it, see how we make these. All right, so guys, first, we'll get this block of cream cheese. It's only been sitting out for maybe an hour. Still gonna be pretty firm, but not too bad. Drop it in. Next, take our shredded cheese here. If you're smarter than the average bear, you can get it open without fighting with it for five minutes. We're just going to dump roughly between a quarter and a half cup of cheese in there. I think that looks good right there. So one thing I am going to put in with it, Pit Boss's Smoke Infused Sweet Mesquite Jalapeno. Tastes really good. So I'm just going to dump some of this in. Gives it a little added kick. For the jalapeno. Open up the other side. Let's get a little bit more in there. And for a little bit of color, a little bit of extra kick as well, I'm going to throw in some good old Creole. <coughs> My goodness. That seasoning gets to your nose. It'll give a little bit of color. Kick it up a little bit of a notch. Tastes really good. One thing that I did end up buying, and it's more or less trial and error to see if it works, kind of thing. Is this nifty little device? So it can hold up to 36 jalapenos just sitting in there. So if this thing works out real great, I'm gonna throw a link in the description below. That way, if you guys want to try it, you'll know right where to get it. It comes with this nifty little coring tool. So we're gonna try it out for the very first time as well. It's going around pretty easy. Get all the way down there. Oh, look, look at that. Came right out. Pretty daggum good. I'm not sure if it worked out better or the same as my regular, I guess what I would call is potato peeler. But it worked. I like it. Got a little bit of a curve to it. Let's see how it does on this one. All I'm doing, you get a glimpse of that. Just going around it, nice and slow. And you can, it's got these edges, so you can use it as a saw if you need to. We'll see if it can pull out this one pretty well. And it did. It did a pretty good job. Punctured a little hole in it. Not too bad. It's all right. But we got a two jalapenos. Grab a clean plate that we don't have a whole bunch of seeds on. Let's just do this number right here. Now to stuff them, all I like to do is I like to grab maybe not near as much. About that much. And you use whatever you want. I just got this little paper plate here. Almost rolling it out. Just makes it a little bit easier, which is why I don't like it being so soft. But you can already get quite a bit in there. I'm trying to plug up that hole with my other hand here. You can get most of it in there without a hassle. So there's one. One more time. Let's grab that other chunk that I pulled off. Now as you work it, it's going to get softer and softer. Remember that. Let's work it a little bit more, a little bit thinner for this one here. A 
right down in there. You can pinch it off. Shove a finger down in there. Pinch it off again. Shove a finger down in there. See how much you can get in. All right. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the rest of these. And we'll pick back up. Actually, one more thing. Forgot to do that. Can't believe I almost forgot the most important part. <laughs> Got to grab a little slice of bacon. Now, a full strip might be a little much. So I'm going to take it to about maybe right there. So we can make a cut here. I'm just going to wrap it, wrap it on up. Once you get it wrapped, I can ever so gently get a toothpick out. Here we go. Just take that toothpick, poke it right through. We move this over. If it works out well enough, should sit just like that throughout the entire cook. We will see how well it works. If it's an epic fail, you know what? This is what this experiment is about, is what I enjoy. Here, like so, or you could even rotate it around like so, and you don't have to worry about it falling through the rack. Drip pans down there, put a little bit of tin foil in there, makes for a little bit easier cleanup. I've already tried that once, so I think I'm gonna try it again. So we're gonna go ahead and let these sit at 300. We'll check up on them maybe about 15, 20 minutes. We'll see where we go from there. Stick around, you're gonna love these. Time to clean up, jeez. All right, so here we are guys, about a half hour in. Let's check these things out, see how they're looking. Ooh. All right, smelling excellent, oh. As I open the door, we have one casualty. It looks like he's falling. It's all right, though. We're going to go ahead and push through. Probably fix that one. Try to, anyway. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. All right. Stick with me, guys. Check back in about another half hour, 45 minutes. As I'm out here relaxing, having a brew, take a glance over. And as I fix one... Not necessarily a casualty to another, but I'm not sure how I quite really feel about this little device yet. We're gonna crack it open here real quick and show you. As it looks really good, but we got one that kind of almost damn near fell all the way through. Push the bacon up, knock some of the toppings off. I mean, otherwise, they're looking really good. So. We'll keep an eye on them. Check back in here in a little bit. Hey guys, here we are. We're a little over an hour in. We're gonna go ahead and give these things a look. I've already looked at them. We're gonna go ahead and pull them out. We're gonna go ahead and let them rest for five, 10 minutes. They're pretty dig I'm hot. The bacon is almost exactly where I would like it. I don't like it really crispy, but I don't like it really soft either. So we're just right where I like. So. Let's go ahead and pull these things out. See what we got. Ooh, I, we're going to have to be a little careful because we got one that may be a casualty. Nope, nope, it's staying in there. Staying in there. All right, we're going to go ahead and set them down. Get this closed. Bring you guys in for a closer look. All right, guys, here we are. Just about how I like them. Looking really good. I'm not sure how I feel about this device quite yet. Maybe some bigger jalapenos next time. Maybe two toothpicks next time. We'll see how everything goes. Let's let these things rest for a few minutes. We're going to try these. All right, they've been resting about five, 10 minutes. Still not 100% sure 
how I like them, how I like this device, should I say. So, here it is. Don't look too bad. Bacon got to buy how I want it. A lot of that ended up boiling out, which I'm not sure how I feel. So, if anything, bon appetit. Let's go ahead and, uh, It still tastes amazing. Uh, probably should have let them rest for about another five minutes, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Woo wee But they're delicious. The bacon almost got to the, exactly how I like it with that one. You know what? If you enjoy this one, you like these things, go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that like button. Drop me a comment if you think there's something I should do differently or do better. Uh, criticism, I always accept it. Temperature-wise, let me know what you do yours at. I did mine at roughly 300 degrees today in the old Pit Boss Vertical Smoker. I'm thinking about maybe doing a little bit hotter next time. That way, I know the bacon cooks a lot quicker. Nothing, you know, it doesn't boil out. All the cream cheese and cheese doesn't boil out and fall over into the drip pan. So, we'll see you next time. And you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This is almost one of both. So, catch you guys next time. Later.